municipal bonds. Which municipality issued the first time bonds in India? Bangalore. So the Bangalore Corporation was the first corporation in the country which issued a municipal bonds. So the municipal bonds are also known as the money bonds or a debt instrument like the other bonds associated bodies in the India. Municipal bonds can be issued for the two projects. One for a particular project, so another for the social area development. So these are issued on different two categories. And there is also the some of the benefits of the municipal bonds. If you are buying the municipal bond, they are tax free. Even the earning you are getting after the maturity, that's also tax free in the municipal bond. So these are the some of the important uh, line about the municipal bond. Tax free hote hain. You are buying a bond, and even also the mature after the maturity, you are getting the interest. That is also the tax free under the municipal bonds. They are the funds used to finance socio economic development projects. The Bangalore Municipal Corporation was the first time issued the one twenty five crores bonds in nineteen ninety seven. Means the 30 year, approximately 25 years. Municipal bonds are exempted from the tax provided the bias adheres to the rules laid by the municipal corporations, and the interest is also exempted from the taxation. So, unke interest pe bhi taxation nahi dena hai. Ah, that's not enough, na? That's a not enough. Like the some of the municipalities are performing very well in the country, like the Indore, Calcutta, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Mumbai. They're performing very well. So they are want to develop their infrastructure. They also, there is a competition in between these municipalities. If they are doing very well, they will get the more money, either from the municipal bond or either from the some of the municipalities also allow to issue bond in the foreign country. So they are receiving more money, they will develop the more infrastructure and they will become a bigger organization. If we see in the tier 2 city, municipality are the very little organization. They are doing some of the XYZ work. But in the major metro city, the municipality are doing the very big work. In the, some, in the case of the Delhi, we can see municipal committee of Delhi are working for the hospitals. They are also working for the schools. They are also working for the cleanliness. But in the, some of the cases, in the tier 2, tier 1 city, they are working only for the cleanliness, not for the education, not for the health. So they are expanding their area. If they are getting the money, they will expand their area. Otherwise, they will not be able to expand their area. or They will help in the development of the city, we can say. So the government is also promoting all these things. Why the government allow the municipal bonds? They think there will be a competition in between the different municipalities. They will perform better. So the government set the criteria. If there is a no loss in the last three years to any municipality or the rating is double A rating, they can allow to issue the municipal bond. So there is a competition between in the larger municipality in the country. So they are trying to, they will be profitable in the last three years. And there is a no default in the last three years or the, any banking defaults, any loan defaults by the municipality. So they can issue the bonds and they can make the infrastructure projects in that area. So there are the primarily two types, general obligation bonds and the revenue bonds. General obligation bonds means to develop a general infrastructure in the area. Like we can select uh, in Delhi municipality is issuing a bond for they are dividing the area in the three area. And they want to develop the one area completely, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. They want to develop the South Delhi. So in that case, the general obligation bond will be issued. It means we want to develop generally the complete area. But in the case of the revenue bonds, they want to develop some specific building. Like they want to develop the Delhi Police building. That's not comes under the MCD, but they want to develop the SM XYZ building. So they will issue bond for that specific building. If we want to develop this specific building, so we want the sum of the money. So there are two categories, general obligation category and the revenue bonds category. And the SEBI guidelines for the municipal bonds. So the, some of the guidelines are issued by the SEBI, the which municipality can issue the bonds. Number one, they should not have a history of defaulting at the repayment of loans. Koi defaulting history nahi hona chahiye. It should possess a positive net worth in the all the three years preceding the issuance of the municipal bonds. The, like you want to issue it in 2023 March. So after 2019 to 23, there should be the completely positive trend. Koi low trend nahi hona chahiye. The net worth we can say average. Such municipality, its group company or director and the promoter shall not be mentioned in the willful defaulter list published by the Reserve Bank of India. This is a bond le rahe hai. That should not be mentioned in the defaulter list by the RBI in the case of the municipality bonds. So these are the important information about the municipality. Next is the municipality bond index. NSC Limited NSC Arm had launched the country first ever municipality bond index. This is the first one index in the country. And the, this new India municipal bond index will track the performance of the municipality bonds by the Indian Municipal Corporation across maturity and having investment grade credit trading. This, this municipality has issued bond. They will track those bonds and how those municipalities will be performing and they will give a credit rating to those municipalities for issuing of the bonds and their usage also. The index was launched at the Security and Exchange Board of India workshop and presently 
they are the 28 municipal bonds issued by the and the 10 issuers are having the credit rating of the double A category. Which municipality are having the double A category? They can are, are allowed to for issuing the bonds and the tracking will be by the SEBI and they will give the further rating if you are performing very well for the issuing of the bonds there.